When I was eight years old, my next door neighbors kidnapped me from Collision Street. The older boy told me he wanted a kiss, his hands smothering like hot honey, shrieks wrangled with throats like fists, my chubbiness attacking back with blunt hits, and I cried like when my first hamster died. They took my trainers, the ones that would flash when I walked. And they made me hold a bag of frozen spinach till it anaesthetized my hands. And they told me that if I held the spinach till it went pulpy, I'd never be able to draw chalk portraits of the calamari my nonna used to make in the potholes of Collision Street again. But if I let go, I'd never leave number 99 when 101 is my home, despite mum's wheat and dairy-free cheesecake. <laughs> I take it back. 101's not the nightmare. And it's not the kind of dream you just omit either. 101's the hard dough bread and butter that wipes the snot out of my eyes in the morning. It's the milk my brother Tom squeezes into my face when I pretend to be sick before school. It's the nose muffs my mum invented. <laughs> but it had always been them and us. We had plant pots, plant pots and compost bins outside our house. They had Sony satellite dishes the size of tractor wheels and the face garden gnomes outside theirs. The boy had a car. The girl had a Barbie holiday playhouse mansion whilst Tom had a hand-me-down BMX. And I had homemade Play-Doh. <laughs> Our dad came home at 6 p.m. Their dad came home whenever. It had always been them and us and they were always bigger. In 101, Tom was on the mega drive, bison uppercutting louder than mum shouting, but then he heard something, like a phone vibrating, and it wasn't anything to do with vacuum cleaning. Okay, oh, it was biting at the walls, like a baby crying. 99 looked for scissors to cut my curly hair. They laughed like the Joker, and said the only reason I wasn't laughing was because I'm... <laughs> foreign and don't know any better. In 101, the speed bumps in Tom's gut refused to fade, so he pulled out the game cartridge like I always demanded he shouldn't. I was screaming through fingers against faces, then finally drilled a howl through the terraces. Tom! Tom sprinted faster than his braces shone on the pavement of Collision Street. The wheels on my upside down pink tricycle spun. Tom turned to 99. He knew the history. It had always been them and us. I was biting a boy's shin pad off my head when Tom strode in through the unlocked door to what looked like a mattress explosion. Black roller coaster spirals of my hair everywhere. He asked if he could have me back. I didn't want to move in case I dropped the spinach. But they let me go. And Tom hoisted me up and I clung to his acne covered face. I kept the ability to draw pictures. And now, 15 years later, I've still got the spinach, refrozen and in my freezer. And Tom has a real leather sofa. And mum can't work anymore because of disability. And dad still works in admin at the post office museum. But when I go back to Collision Street, smell the hard dough bacon, I don't notice size anymore to tell you who's bigger. It's always been them and us. Them and us. Them and us. Thank you.